our God. There's no one to be compared to our God. Our God is not in the grave. Death could not hold him captive. Lift up your voice this morning and begin to worship this God that I've assured you of joyful noise. Lift up your voice this morning and worship this God that is set to roll away every stone, every stone of limitation, every stone of delay, every stone of shame, every stone of infertility, every stone of delay. Lift up your voice and begin to worship him this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Let me to appreciate this God. Say, Father, thank you for my life. You are not grateful for your life. But the devil is after that life. But thank God for Jesus that neither slumbers nor sleep. Father, thank you for my family. Thank you for my husband. Are you trusting him for your own home? Thank him in advance for that home. He said to take you into. Appreciate him for fighting your battles. Appreciate him for standing by you. How many times did you attempt to take your life? But Jesus blocked it. Because the only thing he thinks about you is thought of peace. You tried to take poison, but Jesus said no. You even bought it, but you could not do it. Say, Father, thank you for saving me. Thank you for preserving me. Thank you for watching over me. Thank you for holding me by my right hand. That that hand could not take this life. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Tell him thank you in advance for your children. Because your evidence is here. Lift up your voice and say thank you. Even for that report that made you cry, say, Father, thank you. It's only those that are alive can cry. The ones in the grave can no longer cry. Thank you because everything works together for your good. Appreciate him for that pregnancy. If you are pregnant already, appreciate him. If not, appreciate him because your time is now. Just tell him thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because my babies are here. Thank you, Jesus, because today is my day. Thank you because you have assured me that I have been settled by grace. That's enough of suffering. That I have been settled by grace. Ah, thank you, beloved, you can do better. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You will lift up your voice and say, Father, Father, every iniquity in my life that will hinder access today, that will hinder me from accessing you today, Father, please forgive me. Let your mercy prevail over judgment. Everything that looks like iniquity, that will be a hindrance from me getting access to you this morning, access to my breakthrough, access to my miracle, access to my joy, access to my peace. Father, let your mercy prevail over judgment. Father, please show me mercy. Show me mercy, Lord. Have mercy upon me. Make me a candidate of your mercy this morning. Beloved, asking for mercy this morning. That's everything that will pose as a hindrance. Everything. Is it unforgiveness? Is it malice? Is it doubt? Everything. 
Unbelief, Father, please let your mercy prevail. Is it the words you have spoken against yourself? You have made God look as if he's a liar. Father, please show me mercy. Have mercy upon me. Please, I surrender to your Lordship, Lord. Please have mercy upon me, Lord. Mercy, 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 mercy. Mercy, Lord, mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, Father, today, visit me. Pray that prayer for yourself this morning. Father, please, today, visit me. Visit me, Lord, visit me. Visit me, visit me, visit me, Lord. I'm available today, King of glory. Visit me, Lord. I need your divine visitation this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The only one that we go home today with that joyful noise is that one that is angry in the spirit. Is that one that is tired of suffering. Because we just came back from, returned from our breakthrough encounter with the team settled by grace. And the anchor scripture, 1 Peter 5, 10, says, But the God of all grace, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while. Beloved, are you not tired? It's the anger that you used to pray today We show and confirm if truly that you are tired. And that's why you will cry this morning. Oh God of great grace, visit me today. I am tired of suffering. I am tired of mockery. I am tired of sorrow. I am tired of weeping. I am tired of this delay. I am tired of this shame. Oh God of grace, grace. Ah, visit me today. I am tired of this shame. I am tired of suffering. According to your word, you say after that after about a while, Father, I am tired. Enough is enough to suffering. Enough is enough to delay. Enough is enough to weeping. Enough is enough to sorrow. Enough is enough to shame, to mockery, Father. Oh, beloved, you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say, Father, today. Today, 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 not tomorrow. Perfect all that concerns me. Strengthen me, O oh Lord. And say to me, cry to the Lord this morning, Father, today, today. Perfect my womb. Perfect my life partner. Perfect that job. Perfect that business. Perfect that pregnancy. Cry to the God of great grace this morning. Cry to the God of all grace this morning. Pray for the great God of grace this morning. Perfect all that concerns me. I don't know the report you came to church today with. I don't know the report you brought to Shiloh Hour. Ah, pray to him this morning. Father, this report, perfect it. Overturn this report, oh Lord. Rewrite this report, oh Lord. Perfect it, O oh Lord, perfect it.
Perfect it, O oh Lord. And settle me in this meeting. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. I know his name. His name is wonderful. I know his name. I know his name. Jesus is his name. of a truth we know your name and there is power in your name miracles happen in your name the dead come alive in your name the blind they see in your name the, that one without womb conceives in your name even that one they said ah nobody can marry gets married right before their presence in your name even that one they said cannot eat becomes a landlord in your name. Daddy, we know who you are and we know what you can do. We are very convinced and assured that our Redeemer lives. Wonderful Father, we say thank you. Thank you for what you are set to do in this meeting. Thank you because you have made up your mind to show up for us in this meeting in diverse ways. Because we have all come with diverse requests. Father, thank you for that assurance that for everything your children are trusting you for, according to your will and purpose, that you will settle in this meeting. Father, we say thank you. Thank you because the barrier will become joyful mother of children. That single one that said no is impossible is going to become a beautiful bride. That one Ah, that have lost his job. Job is being restored. All in your name. Father, thank you for this meeting. Thank you for bringing your, each and every one of us to a season of joyful noise. Father, have your way. Do that which only you can do. I hand behind you, Lord. Let only your voice be heard in this meeting. Do that which only you can do. Even those online, Lord, let them receive your touch. Make each and every one connected to this meeting, Father, a candidate for joyful noise. Let our joyful noise be so loud that no power will be able to contend with it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be your holy name forever. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let the believers shout a believing amen. I want to appreciate the King of Kings for this privilege and for calling for this meeting. So he may alone be all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to appreciate our pastor that has given me this privilege to stand on this altar. God bless and preserve him in the mighty name of Jesus. And to all the senior pastors on the altar, mother, please, God bless you all. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Choristers, God bless you. Please, before you take your seats, I know you are sitting, announce to seven persons. My joyful noise will be so loud and unstoppable. Seven.
church, make it 10. Because we are in a month of grace. 10. My joyful noise will be so loud and unstoppable. My joyful noise will be so loud and unstoppable. Make it 10. 10. Grace upon grace. My jo Say it with anger. Announce to her. Announce to him. My joyful noise will be so loud and unstoppable. Mandala brakada zunde le brokodo. Hey, my joyful noise will be so loud and unstoppable. Even as you have declared it, so it is. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Please, we can be seated. And that is your declaration as you move around, as you go out. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries to do. I mean, my season of my joyful noise. It will be so loud and unstoppable. Because the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Just trust this God. Because when we came in March, he told us that joy comes. And sincerely, joy truly came. Some persons came here that time with their gown very fitted. Now they cannot even wear those gowns again. Oh, yes. We came in April. He said evidence. Before April, I saw one text message I did not understand. The person just used the emoji, dance, 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 dance. But my evidence is here. Oh, I did not understand the names. Because I, was, I went to see somebody in the hospital. I just kept the phone first. I said, maybe somebody. I said, God, Father, thank you. When I saw the person, I said, whose name? It's, it's my name, oh, mommy. My evidence is here. When I was in praying, that I didn't know that my own will come so soon. I know it will come. But I didn't know it would be so soon. So don't delay your own. Carry your own today. And joy has, because joy for some persons, your own joy has come for some persons. Some are carrying their evidence. You, your own, is, your joyful noise is here. Because your joy has come, you are carrying your evidence, and your joyful noise will be so loud. They will even ask you, I beg, keep quiet. If, ah, no, now, when they shot that blind man, he cried out the more, don't allow anybody to intimidate you or shut you up. It's your season of joyful noise. In your office, joyful noise. Be playing that music. Let it be so loud. The one that sang said that my, my blessing go loud. He go do waiting. And he go do waiting again. He go worry the neighbor. Abby? She does a song like that now. My blessing go loud. He go worry the neighbor. So make sure that your blessing is, your, your joyful noise will be loud. Even if you are dancing on your own there. Hey, hey, come and see the Lord is good. You know they shout, but they paint them. Come and see, the Lord is good. Hey, hey, hey. There is nothing he cannot do. So let me say, they go say they do something for everywhere. For your corner there, for your store there. Come and see, the Lord is good. Hey, he gave me peace of mind. Hey, they come, they wonder. Peace of mind for the one in the ground, so. Now that one, they paint devil pass. He gave me peace of mind. Hey. There is nothing he cannot do. Oh, oh, come and see the Lord is good. What did they worry? What did happen? Oh, you never hear. Come and see the Lord is good. Thank God we are in a season of church growth. So we already do evangelism with your shout of noise, with your joyful noise. So don't keep quiet. It doesn't matter. This year, the world will see your evidence. And when we'll be doing our thanksgiving, you will come with your evidence in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's open our Bible quickly to Psalm 98, verse 4. Psalm 98. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. I thought somebody would shout. Make a loud noise. <laughs> Today is the day of, of joyful noise. Oh. So just connect. And rejoice. And sing praise. Sing unto the Lord with the harp. With the harp. And the voice of a psalm. With trumpets 
and sound of cornet. Make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. Praise the Lord. Let's look at Psalm 100 and verse 1. We'll take that one together. Psalm 100 verse 1. Because Psalm 100 verse 1. Let's take it together. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, holy lands. So is the mandate God has given us in this season that we should make a joyful noise. And that word, there are two words there, joyful and noise. When you hear about noise, noise can be, at times, maybe, keep quiet, why are you making noise? But there is a joyful noise. What does it mean to be joyful? Joyful means the feeling of great pleasure and rejoicing. To be cheerful. To be joyful is beyond being happy. It's a state of extreme happiness. Extreme happiness. At times, you might not even, you go just, it's beyond just having cloth or having wealth, material things. Someone that is joyful is extremely happy. And devil knows that joy is one tool that every believer needs. He tries to fight our joy. That is why you will remember one negative thing that happened even as a child. When devil wants to torment that person, he will begin to magnify that act. If not for that thing, if not for that thing, and it's not true. And that is why everything that I've been stealing your joy in this meeting, the Lord will deal with them. And your joy will be restored. Because you cannot make a joyful noise if you are not full of joy. And what, is, what, does, it, what, what does noise mean? Noise is a sound, especially one that is loud or unpleasant or that causes disturbance. Some noise can be really disturbing. But this morning, but your own sh noise is not that noise that is disturbing. It's that noise that will draw men to Christ. It's that man, that noise that will tell the whole world that of a truth, you serve a living God. It's that noise that when that sh shout of Joyful sound, that joyful noise resounds. Everybody will tell you, ah, this can only be God. They don't think, I remember the day we went to the hospital to celebrate our victories. And we were just dancing, dancing. One mama came. I don't know who deliver. Oh, make her phone and rejoice. So I beg, pop her for that, put her for my body. Put her for my body. She doesn't know us. I don't even know her. Joy is contagious. And that is why you must rejoice. With everyone that rejoices. That is the simple truth. If, you, if that person's miracle comes first, celebrate God. Rejoice with God. Do everything you can do for that person. Support that person. Because your own day will surely come. Stop counting. Ah, mommy, if you know many people I don't buy baby dress for, for this life. If you know many wedding women I don't attend, and what about it? God is in the house in this season. Remember 1 Peter 5 10. After you have suffered for a while, your own suffering has ended today. And before I forget, he gave, he gave us the team for, for May, for June. Only believe. That is the team he gave us for the month of June. Only believe. So trust this God. Make this Bible your friend. Study the word of God. As you study the word of God, he'll be ministering to you. And you hold him by his words because he cannot lie. And concerning you, he will not lie. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Joyful noise means that we should praise God and God alone when we worship him. We can use our own voice, hymns, and instruments to praise this God. And joyful noise means to break out. Break out from that depression. Break out from that pain. Break out from that sorrow. And tell yourself, enough is enough. Make up your mind. And say, no, this one, devil, you cannot see my joy again. Maybe after this meeting, now you get home. You see your period. God is flushing out everything that would have brought hindrance. That will be the last one you will see. Because after the next one, we, we, we bring your triplets. That's why you must read your Bible. Because he said in everything, give him thanks. When you read your Bible, you will not, be, you will not, you will not allow the devil to intimidate you with what you see. And I pray that God will help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. You break out. When you are, when you are doing joy, you break out in song. I remember one day we were just going from the plane to the, in the, in the big bus. I was just singing my quiet song in my corner. Not, I was not even shouting, but one teenager or a youth was standing by me. I was just singing. Oh no, praises. Just praising God. Ah. He said, good afternoon, ma. I said, how are you? You're just singing like my mother. Everywhere, my mother is always singing. Singing in the whole house, singing. Bedroom, singing. I said, that is the key. That is the weapon. Praise God. So make it a habit. At least you have phone. Play it. As it's playing, before you know, you start dancing. And so we give way. Always break out his song. If the song comes, sing that song. Don't keep quiet. Sing that song. Whether you know the meaning or not. So at times, me, I will home. Into my phone. Oh, my dad, my dad, will laugh. Because you must laugh. I will not forward to them. They know. Some of them are in this meeting. I say, what does this song mean? Because God speaks to us in different ways. So when that song, I don't know the meaning, comes, sing that song first. And when you, know, when you understand the meaning, you will say, of a truth, God is good. Whether it's any language it comes, thank God for Jesus. Write it down anyhow you remember. Or do your, your voice note. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
That the power in that name will open that womb. The power in that name will sustain that pregnancy. The power in that name will say enough to enough to miscarriage, still bad, premature, in the mighty name of Jesus. God has given me triplets that did not enter incubator. Yes. And today, I think they're about five to seven years. They're in this church. Yes, I like that. Wow. And the name of Jesus, we sustain that pregnancy. I mean, even when I was expecting that they would enter incubator, they came out, they did not enter incubator. So trust this God and remove fear. So your joyful noise will come. And when it comes, it will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. I said it will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Why must I make this joyful noise? Because my father is the king of kings. Revelation 19, 16. He's the king of kings. And if my father is the king of kings, nothing will shut me up from shouting joyful noise. King of kings and lord of lords. So over that situation, Jesus, our father is the king. Over that delay, he's the king. Over that reproach, he's the king. And because he's the king, and because you trust him, beloved, you will surely shout your joyful noise. Thank God for today's open heaven. Make sure that your path is pleasing to him. Make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you don't have any other thing. You are not here and here at the same time. If you are going to stand on this blue rock, stand there. If you are going to stand on this red one, stand here. Not that you are cold, you are, you, are, you are hot at the same time. No, you can't be lukewarm. Your father is the king of kings. And because if you are done it for A, he will do it for you. Thank God for our motto, Jesus Christ, the same. It means that what he did for A, he can do for B. But trust him. Stop, stop making yourself look when they see you. Ah, do. But if you are joyful and agile, doing your work, doing your, your duty post, as an usher, chorister, everything you are doing, it's so much joy. They will not be able to tell you, do. It is well. But when you come looking, nobody should tell you it is well again. Is that see that coming from the part of being, they say, no, what is meaning it is well? Because the way you did your neck. Even when you, so when they come and tell you, do, it is well with you. Oh, God is good. My God is awesome. All is well. <laughs> God is good. That is it. Yet, you must put up that character because your father is the king of kings. And what must I do? Jeremiah 29, 11. What must I do? Beloved, you must trust this God. Look at what he's talking about you now. For I know the thought that I think towards you. He didn't say towards all of us. He said towards you. So you can put your name there. For I know the thought that he, I think towards Ephoma, saith the Lord. Thought of what? And what? God cannot do evil. God is not wicked. So make sure that your path is pleasing to this God. Make sure that your hands are clean. Make sure that you are not, you are not the architect of your own misfortune or your own problem. Even if today at the, table, at the meeting of this morning, there is mercy. And that mercy will prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Say, Father, Father, thank you for the thought you have concerning me. The thought of peace and not of evil. Father, cause that thought to manifest in this season. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. That is why you must make Bible your friend. When people come to discourage you, false prophets, they begin to tell you stories. Tell them that Jesus knows me personally. I don't know about you, but he's very intentional about me. He knows my name. That my, my name is the former. He says he knows the thought. He thinks towards you. And what must I do? You must just be still in his presence. If I ask us now, what, which day of the week do you take out to see the face of the Lord? Beloved, it's good to see doctors. Though. It's good to do everything. But how do you have time that you just say this every Tuesday, every Monday, is that I wait on the Lord? And that does not mean that you will not go to your office or go to your business place. No. But it's the day you say, this is for me and you, Lord. Father, said to me. Not so much prayer. Father, please, said to me. I am tired. 
Enough of this suffering. Said to me. Psalm 46, verse 10. Which day? If you don't have any day you wait on the Lord, beloved, after this meeting, prayerfully choose a day that you wait on the Lord. If it's a service day, fantastic. Make sure that day you are there for the midweek service. Don't choose on Sunday. Because Sunday alone, you're supposed to be waiting for the Lord on the Sunday and pray for service. Choose a day that let it cost you something. Let this flesh be disciplined. A time will even come. You don't even eat anything. You will have the food. You don't. It's not as if because you are sick. Oh. But that joy will so fool your heart that if without even eating, you'll be adding weight. Be still and know that I am God. I will exalt among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. Beloved, just trust this God. He is God of all flesh. There's nothing he cannot do. It doesn't matter the reports you have. Because somebody's already writing herself off. Mom, you don't understand. My report is so bad. That report is not bad. Because Jesus is the Almighty. And no matter how terrible you think, there are some testimonies we hear from camp, and you're like, this God, you are just too much. Medically, no woman without a womb should have baby. But God, this God of all flesh, that with him there is no impossibility. A wombless woman will carry babies. From where? That is mystery. So it doesn't matter the report you have in this meeting. Tell yourself, my joyful noise will be so loud and unstoppable. And any power that wants to contend with it, the Lord will contend with them. Any hand that wants to fight your miracle, the Lord will fight that hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the only one that can shout joyful noise is that one that has connection with Jesus. If Jesus is not your father, how can you make it? How can you succeed? Because there is this peace that comes with knowing Jesus. There is this joy that comes with knowing Jesus. Because when he blesses you, no sorrow is attached. 1022 Proverbs. When he blesses you, no sorrow will be attached to it. He cannot give you that blessing. The blessing of the Lord is make it rich and he added no sorrow with it. That is why you must make him your number one priority. That is why you will say, Father, it's only you I know. Don't relent in what you are doing for him. You are committed to him faithfully, justly, and it's like this. What of if you are not even committed? And it's possible God is trying to get your attention. The person was praying for me, he said, some persons, assignment I gave to them, they are not on their duty post. There was a prayer we prayed in church yesterday. Father, reveal to me the purpose of my calling. God needs you. God needs your time. He needs your person. He needs you. Your money is going there. Yes, he needs you. He's looking for you. And as you, as you, as you connect to him in truth and in spirit, you will truly shout your own joyful noise in the mighty name of Jesus. So are you here this morning before we begin to pray? You know that for a truth that there is no connection with Jesus. Or you want to reconcile with him this morning? Or you have failed in the assignment he has given to you? You are not doing it as, at your own convenience. Even the word, you know the word very well. But you are not doing, keeping that word again because you are asking yourself, for I have been serving this God. Where is this God? Where is this God? Beloved. God is God. God is God and is alive. Trust him. And if you're here in this meeting, you want to reconcile with him, just raise your hand and say, Father, please, I'm here this morning because we want to pray. We want to pray and do what the rest that he told us to do. Because the only thing that can hinder us if you don't have open heaven, try and get one. Because the judge has been giving us teachings of series of teachings from that open heaven.
if you think God is not answering your prayers and you have checked yourself, you know the cost. You know, you know me say, check yourself. When people just think it's just fornication and adultery, it's beyond that. Most of us are living in disobedience. We do the things of God at our convenience and when we like and how we like it, not promptly and accurately. So this morning, you are here this morning, just say, Father, please have mercy upon me. We have been settled by grace and nothing will hinder our joyful noise in the mighty name of Jesus. If there's anyone, if there's no one like that in this meeting, let's all be on our feet. As we, could, as we begin to appreciate the Lord this morning. And the first prayer point this morning is a shout of hallelujah. You will shout that hallelujah let it be very loud. Because as you are shouting the hallelujah, doors of blessings are opening. Doors of breakthroughs are opening. And the Lord is bringing deliverance in the way of somebody in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Your first prayer point will be Father. This month and this season, by your grace and mercy, confirm my evidence in the mighty name of Jesus. Confirm my evidence. Beloved, you can leave your space and pray this morning. Confirm my evidence. Confirm my evidence. Once your evidence appears, you will make a joyful noise. Confirm my evidence. Maritally confirm my evidence. Confirm my evidence. Confirm. I don't know your own evidence, what you want to carry this morning. If your own is marriage, Father, confirm my evidence. If your own is job, Father, confirm my evidence. If your own is business idea, Father, confirm my evidence. Confirm my evidence, oh Lord. Father, confirm my evidence. He is the God of all flesh. Father, confirm my evidence. Father, confirm my evidence. Confirm my evidence. Father, confirm my evidence. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Genesis 21 verse 6. And Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this, we do what? Your evidence will bring laughter. Even your enemies will laugh with you. Your mockers will laugh with you. Your haters will laugh with you. They cannot help it but spread your good news. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, sell us my mockers. And let my joyful noise begin now. And Sarah said, God had made me to love. Father, Father, Father. Silence my mockers. And let my joyful noise begin now. Let my joyful noise begin now.
Beloved, pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. If you are tired of suffering, cry to the Lord. You don't even know them. But they are mocking you. When you pass, they will do their nose. Uh -huh. She is going again. Every day, church. Every day, seed. Every day, let's go fishing. Every day, digging deep. Every day, Sunday school. Every day, all night. Holy Ghost night. Father, silence my mockers. Let my joyful noise begin now. Let my joyful noise begin now. Let my joyful noise. Silence my mockers and let my joyful noise begin now. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please project Genesis 20, 30, 22, and 23. NLT, please. Genesis 30, 22, and 23. Let us take it together. In NLT. Then put your name there, please. And God remembered and answers her prayers by enabling her to have children. Then was she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. God has removed my disgrace, she said. If your faith can carry two, can carry four, you have them. A son, a husband. If your own is husband, you receive it. Whatever you are trusting the Lord in this meeting, you have it. Just believe. And that's why you and say, Father, Father, in the name above every other name, the name of Jesus, remove my disgrace today. Remove my disgrace today. Remove my cry to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, remove my disgrace today. Let my joyful noise resound. Remove my disgrace today. Let my joyful noise resound. Beloved, is that how far you can pray this morning, this afternoon? In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We will take that prayer again. No? At times, when you take somebody to the delivery room to deliver in labor ward, you don't stand in one place. So, hey, Father, she must deliver safely. Hey, I receive baby and life, mother and life. Hey, save delivery, Lord. Save delivery, Lord. Save delivery, Lord. You will pray that prayer till that, till you hear the cry of that baby, two of us. I will soon come here for your own. Don't worry. All our mothers, they will be there. So, don't be angry in your spirit. Talking about disgrace. You, don't, you cannot even do what you want to do anymore. If you don't look good, trouble. You look good, trouble. But all the same, you must look good. Because your father, is, your God is good. Lift up your voice and say, Father, in your mercy, in your power, remove this disgrace from me today. Let my joyful noise resound. 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 Remove this disgrace today. When they see your phone call, they don't pick your call again. They think you want to beg them for food again. They think you want to beg for money again. Father, remove this disgrace from my life today. Let my joyful noise resound. Let my joyful noise resound.
Let my joyful noise resound. Let my joyful noise resound. Let my joyful noise resound. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please pray that prayer for your sister. Say, Father, in your mercy and in your power, remove this disgrace from my life of my sister. Anything that represents disgrace, anything that looks like disgrace, Father, remove it. Remove it. Remove it. And let her joyful noise resound. Anything that represents disgrace in her life, Father, please remove, 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 remove. And let her joyful noise resound. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 1 Samuel 2, verse 1, NLT. 1 Samuel 2, 1. Hannah sang, my soul rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have answers for my enemies. What is your answer? Your evidence. So. <laughs> Some evidence they are here in church with us. You don't even need to say anything. They will not see you one for back. And then that, daddy don't rush, go walk. One day your shoulder. You carry your back. Only they go. You don't see who help you. Who get picking? Now, hey, go, don't bow. Ah, you wear a ring. How many for see ring? Ah, you don't go put a ring for your hand by yourself. Oh, you can't see if that product they go. You know, just go out. God, don't do one. Then Hannah prayed. My heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. They can't see you when you carry one car. Ah, where your madam? Let me get the car. <laughs> Those triplets, they will come with so many blessings. You they open gate, they come out. Who you can't see for here? In our house, so now God do move. People won't tell me that here. If we now man, you won't marry. You go suffer too. When we can't go supply for screening that year for centitas. They can't see me carry picking. Enter motor. If we so now your motto. I said now God do move. Who you marry? Now, you still marry. Now, you marry you. So, then Hannah prayed, my heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now, I have an answer for who? <laughs> you see why you must marry Bible? Make Bible your friend. Now, you have answer. What is the answer? Your evidence. So, that is why you must be making joyful noise. Because now you have answers for your enemy. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, put a new song in my mouth. A new song of joyful noise. Let me have answer for my enemies. Yes, put a new song of joyful noise in my mouth. Put a new song of joyful noise in my mouth. Let me have answers, answers, answers. Answer to my, for my enemies. Let me have answers. Let me have answers. Is that how far you can go this morning? Father, put a new song in my mouth of joyful noise. Let me have answers. Give me an answer, Lord. Give me an answer with an evidence.
silence my mockers. Let my joyful noise resound. Let me have an answer for my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Genesis 30, 22, and 23. Then God remembered Rachel's plight and answered her prayers. By enabling her to have children, she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. God has removed her disgrace, she said. NLT, please. She became pregnant and gave birth to a son. And God has removed my disgrace. Because you are in this meeting, everything that represents disgrace, everything that represents shame, God will remove them in this meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, secure my evidence. Secure my evidence. Secure my evidence. Ah, yes, secure it. He has removed your disgrace. So there's an evidence. And not, that evidence will not be aborted. That evidence will not be truncated. That evidence will not die. That evidence, you will not lose it. Yes, Lord. Put a new song of joy, a new song of victory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved, I pray Holy Ghost service for children because even your children have been shielded before they arrive. That's why you will cry this morning, Father Lord, in your mercy, shield my evidence. With your fire. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Shield my evidence. Shield my evidence. Shield my miracle. Shield my blessings. Shield my joy. Shield me, Lord, with your fire. your fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Quickly, we will pray for two sets of people. If you are here trusting the Lord, not standing in the gap now, you are the one trusting the Lord, believing God for this gift. Please be in front. And those that are pregnant, stand behind them. 